A Roundup teenager was honored today for precautions she took that likely saved her life this past winter. Q2 Samantha Harrelson tonight brings us her story. Really, it was just a normal day, and I was getting ready to head for an orthodontist appointment. It was windy that day. I was aware of like the wind and the road conditions mostly, and as I came, it was just really as I came around a corner, um, I saw the snow drift unexpectedly. Sarah hit her brakes and lost control of the vehicle. She tried to correct herself, but the car passed over the center line. She was hit by a truck driving in the opposite direction. That's probably the worst crash I've seen, the aftermath of a crash. That's probably the worst one I've been on. So I was pretty sure that somebody was dead in there. Despite the way the crash looked, Sarah was okay and was transported to the hospital with relatively minor injuries. When they took her in for CAT scans and for x-rays, they really expected to see a lot more broken or fractured bones, but she only had the separated AC joint and the, the scrapes and abrasions and the glass. And so that was it. <laughs> Amazingly, I, I believe because she was buckled up. That is a belief shared by law enforcement and first responders on the scene that day. On Wednesday, those same people awarded Sarah the Saved by the Belt Award for her use of the seat belt that likely saved her life. Every day you should wear, I don't care if you're going half a block to the store, you know, there could be someone on an intersection that just isn't paying attention, so that's really important. I'm really thankful, and every day I am so blessed and so happy and so overwhelmed with love and joy that I'm still here today, because I really couldn't imagine if I was, that would have been my last day. In Roundup, Samantha Harrelson, MTN News. Sammy tells us the driver of that other vehicle involved in the crash also was able to walk away with only minor injuries, and he too was buckled in.